Hello and welcome. I am Mike Tafrouj from Cisco's Enterprise Catalyst Routing and Estimant team. In this video, I am very excited to talk about two crucial aspects of Catalyst Estimant operations, smart accounts and virtual accounts. These powerful concepts are fundamental to both day zero and day end operation of Catalyst sd -Van, and understanding them will in significantly enhance your ability to deploy and manage your Catalyst sd -Van. Let's get started by looking at our main topics. We'll start by learning what the smart accounts and virtual accounts are. Next, we'll explore how Cisco Catalyst sd -Van utilizes this construct to streamline some of the day zero and day end operations. And finally, We'll discuss some of the best practices to help you achieve operational excellence. First, let's see whether a smart account or SA and virtual account or VA. At Cisco, we use a smart account and virtual account to provide secure and organized access to our various applications and resources. Think of a smart account as representing your entire organization. It's the top level structure that allows you to manage access and permissions for all users in your organization, as well as any third parties who need access to Cisco applications and resources provided to your company. Within a smart account, there are four key roles. Administrator, the super user with full access to all applications and resources. Approver, manage user access requests. User has limited privileges to perform specific actions and viewer can navigate through resources but can't make any changes. Now let's zoom in on virtual accounts. These are subsets within your smart account, allowing for more granular resources and access management. They could represent different departments, subsidiaries, or even specific projects within your company. Virtual accounts have their own set of roles. Virtual account admin has full access within that specific virtual account. Virtual account user has limited action permissions. And virtual account viewer has read-only access to resources in that virtual account. This structure ensures that the right people have the right level of access to the resources they need. While many Cisco users are familiar with the smart accounts and virtual accounts only in the context of the smart licensing, the role of these concepts goes far beyond that in Catalyst sd -Van. I'll promise you, you will be surprised when you learn about all the use cases. Let's take a look at them. Catalyst sd -Van integrates with Cisco Plug and Play or PMP Connect portal using a smart account and virtual account, and it provides three important functions. First, sd -Van Manager syncs with the designated smart account and virtual account during the Quick Connect workflow. This process allows it to retrieve and update device serial information both in online and offline mode. Also, the PMP Connect portal plays a key role in ZTP process. It redirects routers to the appropriate Catalyst sd -Van validator based on the control profile information stored in the same virtual account where the device information is registered. In addition, sign-in device and control component certificates via Cisco's PKI root certificate done by the PMP Connect portal is also automated by leveraging a smart account and virtual account credentials in the controller certificate authorization under the sd -Van manager setting page. Another well-known and important function of smart accounts and virtual accounts in Catalyst sd -Van is syncing and reporting Catalyst or DNA licenses to Cisco Smart Software Management or CSSM portal. This is done through the sd -Van Manager's license management page, where the associated licenses to the routers are reported to CSSM portal via the selected smart account and virtual account. Besides being important parameters for direct integration with other Cisco's application, for customers with routing and SD-WAN enterprise agreement or EA suite, smart account and virtual account play a crucial role in license generation. Users should navigate to the enterprise agreement workspace, select the right smart account and virtual account where the EA suite is delivered to for them, and utilize the license generation workflow to generate the necessary licenses for smart licensing and doing license management in Catalyst sd -Van Manager. 
beyond day zero operation and integration with other Cisco application, Catalyst SD WAN Manager uses a smart account and virtual account credentials to onboard various SaaS based services for network configuration and monitoring, such as Catalyst Analytics and SDAVC. This onboarding process is done by enabling cloud services via a smart account and virtual account credentials. When you log in into the SD WAN Manager for the first time, or through the Catalyst Manager setting page if you want to enable them later. And finally, Cisco Cloud Delivered Catalyst SD-WAN or CDCS uses a smart account and virtual account credentials as the authentication method. In this model, the CDCS service validates user login information before providing access to the Catalyst SD-WAN manager resources, ensuring that the user has entered the correct information and has their appropriate rights to access the Catalyst Manager and its resources. As you can see, Catalyst SD-WAN uses smart accounts and virtual accounts in numerous ways within its operation, so it makes it essential to follow some of the best practices to ensure you have a smooth operation. So the first and the most critical practice is to submit the correct smart account and virtual account during the ordering process on Cisco Commercial Workspace or CCW. I can't emphasize enough how using the correct information for sd devices, licenses, and controllers ordering simplifies day zero and day n operations for you and your product and helps you avoid unnecessary support cases or challenges in your operation down the line. Secondly, as discussed earlier, a smart account and virtual account have different roles that provide various permissions to the users. Always make sure that users have the appropriate access to the accounts to perform their roles effectively. Another important recommendation is to use a single smart account and virtual account for all operations and other processes for the Catalyst SD WAN. Although some regulations or organizational structures might require using different smart account and virtual account for your application like PMP Connect or CSSM, sticking to a single one simplifies all the processes significantly. Last but not least, always audit users who have access to their smart accounts and virtual accounts and their access level regularly. As discussed earlier, there are a lot of applications and resources within the Catalyst SD-WAN that leverage a smart account and virtual account, so it is important to audit users to make sure the right access is provided. It helps you to have a secure environment for your product. By following these best practices, you will maximize the benefits of the smart account and virtual accounts in your Catalyst SD-WAN. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it has helped you to learn more about smart account, virtual account, and their applications in Catalyst SD-WAN. If you need to learn more about applications and integrations that I have covered in this video, you can check the links in the description.